Why does man suffer? Why does man cry? Why does man become so miserable till he ultimately will die? It is because man is ignorant. Man does not realize that this world is just a show. We are actors. We come and we go. But man thinks that this is real. Man thinks this is mine. That is mine. He doesn't realize everything is dying. He doesn't enjoy the sunshine because he doesn't build a connection with the divine. If man wants to live a life of bliss, of joy, of peace, he can. But instead, man chooses to cry right till he dies. It is because man is ignorant about who he is and why he is here. Man suffers because man experiences pain of the body. Of course, the body suffers, but I am not the body. If your car has an accident, your car has the accident. You may have an impact, but you don't suffer what the car experiences. But because we think I am this body, we suffer physical pain. That's not so much suffering. Today there is medicine. There is cure for all kind of physical ailments. But we suffer. We suffer because of the mind. Today mental medicine, mind medicine, is so advanced. People are taking so many, so many medicines for fear, worry, stress, anxiety, depression, even suicide. Why? Because of the mind, or where is the mind? Have you seen the mind? Where is the mind? You cannot find. But still, we suffer because of the mind. Aren't we fools? We human beings suffer because of the ego. There is agony. There is anguish. There is anger, hate, revenge, jealousy, all because of the ego. What does the ego say? I, me, mine. You, I hate you. I am upset at you because of the ego. There is I, and there is you. In reality, we may be different bodies, but we are one soul. Although the soul is a is a spark of unique life, in, different in you and me, the source is one. We are one source, and when we realize that we are all. Coming from the same source, and we will return to the same source. We are that, not this. We will be free from all misery, free from all suffering. A human being is chasing happiness. He doesn't realize happiness is like a shadow. Like a shadow, the more you chase it, the further it goes away. Further it goes away. Happiness is like a shadow. But man is chasing his shadow. He doesn't realize it. Unfortunately, happiness is not about becoming happy. Happiness is about being happy. Happiness is within, but we let our mind steal our happiness. How? Because the mind steals our peace. The moment the mind is agitated, we lose our peace. The moment you lose your peace, peace is the foundation of happiness. You become unhappy. Man can. Live a life of eternal joy, divine love, everlasting peace. If only he realizes that he is a manifestation of the divine, not the body that suffers physical pain, not the mind, not the ego. He is the divine soul. When man realizes this, he overcomes all suffering, all misery, all pain. But till man realizes who he is, till man is enlightened with the truth. That I am not this; I am that. Man will suffer. Yes, there is a way to transcend all suffering, to overcome all suffering, and that's called enlightenment. People are chasing achievement. Some people are trying to live with contentment and fulfillment, but one needs enlightenment. Enlightenment is liberation from all suffering. Enlightenment is attaining the purpose of life. Enlightenment is becoming one with the divine. Enlightenment is experiencing the divine in one and all. Enlightenment is overcoming ignorance. 
Enlightenment is living with divine love. Enlightenment is being able to kill the mind and living in consciousness. Enlightenment is thoughtlessness. Enlightenment is the realization of the truth. Enlightenment is the way to eternal happiness. It's a choice. You want to live with achievement or you want to live with enlightenment or you just want to shuttle with contentment and fulfillment. If you want to reach that ultimate state of joy and bliss, that nirvana, that ananda, then the answer to escape from all suffering and all sorrow is enlightened.